All right, when Kathy Lee and I met for the very first time, we had this instant connection. We realized that we shared a lot of things, our love of wine, and <laughs> Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, and my mom's got a house there. And I spent the summers there growing up and still have family there, so we decided to take you along on a visit to our favorite beach town. Rehoboth Beach is a place for making memories. It's a reminder of a more simple time, of days filled with the sweet smells and sounds of summer. When we started coming here in about 1964, I was 11 years old. My mom and dad bought the inn in 1967, started cleaning every weekend, spending the, uh, all summer long on the beach. I haven't been back to Rehoboth a lot since my daddy passed away here. It's been eight years now, so today was a joyful day. It was the first time I've been able to go back to the old inn and not feel sad. I feel grateful for all the, the beautiful memories we have there. I went with my mom and sister back to our old inn. It's now owned by our friend, Carol Scanio. But 27 Brooklyn still feels like home. This is the Hang 10 room. It is. Kathy was in love with all of these surfers. Where's my door? Right there. Oh, there it is. Welcome, Hang 10. Are there any smooch marks on it? Because I used to no. practice kissing on the door. <laughs> hey, it was the 60s, and I was a young teenager. There was no sweeter place to be for the summer. One particular night, I was smooching with my love, Nancy, right here, and I realized, oh my gosh, it's getting late. So I, we jumped up, and I started the trek down to the end, very hurriedly, like this, like this. And here comes my brother and my father. So I thought, oh my gosh, between the two of them, I ain't, I'm not going to have a hiney left. Even though I hadn't been doing anything wrong, what 16-year-old girl doesn't smooch once in a while? And we turned this corner, and right here, so close. It caught up with me. My daddy lit into me like crazy, and he told Yancey never come back here again. Thank goodness Yancey didn't listen to him. The beach was also where I earned my very first paycheck. I mean, unless you count the time I sang at my grandmother's birthday party. Core Brothers has been doing business on the boardwalk for 80 years. Oh my gosh, my boss, Barry's here! Barry was a great boss, but I was not that great an employee. Kathy had all these friends from Florida that were surfers, and they would sit out here in the uh, back of the bench like a bunch of crows. And once in a while, they, got, in a a while while they got a little hungry. A little hungry, right. And I knew that Barry's the greatest guy in the world, so I did let them have, I think maybe twice I did it, Barry. I'm sorry, it was wrong. I apologize. Well, should we go back and see if I still got it? Young lady, would you care for some world famous horse custards? You want a big one? That is a big one. And though some things have changed since I spent summers here, there is one constant, even decades later. Hoda discovered it, too. This is just a spot where we can get away. It's, it's laid back, it's easy breezy, people are so super friendly. It's one of those places that feels like home. My mom bought a place in Rehoboth six years ago, and her home has been filled with family and friends ever since. My five-year-old niece, Hannah, is the family superstar. And Jay loves our lazy days on the beach, too. We go to the beach and we plop. We lay all day long from the time the sun is high until it sets. When the sun is set, we usually go and grab a bite. All right. It's chow time. Go Fish is Got just you. such a special place. Again, it's because we fall in love with the people. We're never about the place, we're about the people. We fell in love with Allison, so we fell in love with, you, with what you created. If you're looking for the best dinner in town, best dinner in town, go Fish. I love Mel's Place because I like the vibe. I'll be honest. I like the feeling. I like when you walk in. I like the people. Hey, Ruby. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Oh, here. <laughs> so everything is great. On a typical morning in Rehoboth Beach, when you come to your place, the coffee yes. mill, it uh, is jammed. Let's make a toast. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna call. Margarita's going to be later. Cheers. And on this weekend, in a place where the past and present collide, Kathy Lee and I tour Rehoboth Avenue. Back then, in the, yeah. in the 1800s, it was cobblestone. <laughs> and there were horses None of these big stores. That's where I work. Right there, Little Core Brothers. Hi! There's your mother and her neighbors. It's the only people here. Funland! I'm so excited! Bump! Bump, baby! Do some bump! Whale. Next up, 
Drag Queen Volleyball. We put on dresses and come out to play. That's right, a new tradition here in Rehoboth. Let's kick some fun. And though time has moved on, some things stay the same. Rehoboth remains a simple place, a simple American town that still captures our hearts. So here's to old memories and new ones in Rehoboth. What fun. Great job, Karen. Where's Karen Trossett? Karen, Karen come take a stroll out here. Get out here. That I know that you... So, she had never been to Rehoboth. Karen Trossett's our producer on this oh, piece. Great job, sweetheart. Did Love. You, so fun. So fun. Love. It's a great place, isn't great it? Place. You know the, 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 the old and the new, yeah. and I use the term old loosely <laughs> so well. <laughs> Love my, you, Trossett. My mom was worried how she was going to look. You look great, Joni <laughs> yeah. girl. You too, Mish. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you, sunny. sweetheart. All up right, next. coming up next, we're going to talk about how to upgrade your party without spending a fortune after these messages.